What's going on guys, it's The Kicking Consultant here and welcome back to another video. I'm so pumped for today because I'm heading to AFL Max, which is the indoor football facility created by James Podziadley, the former Crows and Geelong football player. Now there, I'm gonna go and show you guys how to kick a football more accurately and some things that I do in terms of my grip and ball drop and stuff that you can do at home wherever you are. Now, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I have a funny feeling I might be kicking a tour. I've never been to AFL Max before, so let's go check it out. So I actually did a lower body workout this morning. Probably not the smartest idea. The legs are gonna be a bit fatigued. It'd be a good chance for me to work on my opposite foot and low stab passes and uh, some accuracy. Looking forward to it, should be good. Guys, welcome to AFL Max. I want to some talks. You're at the right place. Let's do it. Hey, got this massive space, do like 50 meter kicks in here. Got the footy going on, rebounders, target drills, kick some goals, got everything you need. All right guys, so I'm here with Matilda and today we're gonna go through some basic steps on how to hold the footy so we're a bit more accurate when we kick it. I like to hold it near the front, so hands over, yep, maybe a bit more on the front so you should only have one finger, yep, and then tilt the ball forward. Oh, so what? let it, yeah. So holding the front of the footy, mm -hmm. letting it cradle in your hands, and then for people that have like small hands and they can't hold it, this is perfect Probably because maybe. it's just like sitting in there. Yeah. And then as you extend it out, the momentum in your arm is going to make it stick to your hands. Okay. So the reason why I have it like this is because when we make contact with our foot, we want that ball slightly tilted forward. Mm -hmm. So that's going to help get that back spin and okay. keep the ball nice and so light. So the ball should spin backwards. Yeah. Okay. Ball should spin backwards, guys, not forward. Okay. Alright, so we're going to have a few kicks and see how she goes. When you're dropping it, it's coming back. On that ball to Oh! How good was that? So Matilda just asked a really good question. Where should the ball come off your foot? Now, ideally, it's just on that inside of the bony part on your foot. So if oh, you look okay. at your shoe, yep. the top of your laces. Yep. So if you feel mm. that bony knuckle, okay. and it's slightly on the inside. So I'm a lefty, so it's just out that side. Yep. All right, so Matilda's done a really good job of getting the grip right, um, but struggling to get a bit of spin. Yep. A lot. <laughs> what we're going to get her to work on and what you guys can do at home is just some easy ball guides. So keeping the ball over your leg and extending it forward and forward. Yep. And then to progress from there, we can actually do some ball drops. So letting it hit the ground. So trying to get it, trying to guide it Should down. It land there when I drop it? A great question. With the positioning of the ball, if we get it right, it should land on the point and bounce forward. If we've got that forward tilt, It'll roll forward. If it's coming back to us, like that, <laughs> Whoops. you've got it lent back too much, okay? And extend it out and it should stay in that, okay? So it's going sideways. So a great- It was get, closer. It was closer. <laughs> a great drill to get the feedback from the ground of where the ball's going. So anything left or right, it's obviously on an angle. We want it forward. So if you get on a line, it should roll right down that line. Go again. Yep.
here at AFL Max, they have a really cool thing with the sharpshooter goals. So they have the regular goals on the outside, but the whole theory of the smaller ones is aim small, miss small. What's up with this line? So one of my favorite drills is the line drill. So to make sure everything's straight, put your kicking leg on the line, make contact on the line, and then follow through straight. So it should look something like this, hopefully. So it's been a lot of fun here so far. Hope you've been enjoying the footage. I'm gonna go check out a few other things now. We've got the wipeout, we've got the rock climbing wall, and the trampolines. Guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay safe. Going inside, you don't want to square. You're You're done. Go. Okay. Right. It's like our social distancing squares. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally like doing a burpee. Oh. I did legs this morning too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That leg workout's got me. Hello. Woo. So here at AFMX they have a rock climbing wall. So been watching a lot of the Olympics and I've seen him just fly up it. I'm gonna go give it a crack. Oh. <laughs> it's that leg workout I did this morning, it's getting me. This has been so much fun here at AFL Max, but we are not done yet. They've asked me to kick a torp over the building, just like the boys from Marmalade did. <laughs> it was raining earlier, and we had no idea because we're inside, so perfect place to come. No matter what the weather's like, you're indoors, laughing. <laughs> the whole theory is aims. <laughs> She can't be here because <laughs> she's waking me up. Taylor, it's the cool. phone's Outtakes. ringing. <laughs>